Hello, Polydorway here, and in this video, I wanted to show you a neat procedural modeling tip. We are going to set up the directional vectors of points along a curve. This will come quite handy to copy to points node or the sweep node. And with this setup, you can control the rotation of the points too. All right, let's begin. Okay, let's start creating geometry node. Let's dive in. Let's create a curve node. I'd like to use the old curve node. So here in asset name and path, I will change it to the previous curve node. Make it easier to create our point. Let's hit enter and create some points. But you can use the regular curve node too. Let's turn off our snap to grid. And adjust a bit our curve just to have di different directions here in our point. Okay. Let's create a resample node. Connect our curve. Let's change our grid polygon S to subdivision curve. Now we, we have a, a smoother curve and let's adjust the number of points. All right, now let's initialize our vector by creating a polyframe node. I will turn off normal name. And in the tangent name, I will initialize our normal vector. Okay. We can see our normal direction here. Let's now create our direction vector. I will create an attribute wrangle. And let's begin create our expression. I will start by creating a vector. And I'll call here from direction. Now we'll initialize it with our normal direction. Next, I will create our right vector using V at right. And the right vector will be a normalize. Cross product from the up direction. So it will be zero, one, zero. And our normal. You can see our right vector by clicking in information and initializing our right to see it in our viewport. We just need to adjust. So here in visualizer, we click in with the right button, hit edit, we'll change it to marker and vector. We can color it with a red color. Nice. Now let's create our up vector. V at up is equal the cross product of our normal and our right vector. 
let's initialize it here in the viewport too. Okay, let's just change the color to green. Very nice. And to use it in our cop to points or sweep node, I like to change the normal vector with the up vector and our up vector will be our normal like this all right now that we have our vectors let's use up to point Let's create some cubes. So I sighted this first cube to point in our vertical direction. Let's color it green. Let's copy this setup. The second one will point to our X direction. So let's color it red. And the third one. Let's point it to the Z direction and color it blue. All right, let's merge it. Now let's use our copy point to copy this representation of Gizmo with our curve. There you have it. A very nice trick. I did the chain with this technique. You can see it in my previous video. And it's a very cool trick to use with the sweep nodes too. Let's change it here to ribbon, for example. And you see, with proper vectors, we have our sweep node working as intended. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much and I see you next time. Have a nice day.